Hello young learners. Here is your English learning buddy Aprajita in front of you with chapter number 2. So let's start it and the chapter is Durga, Opu and the Diamond. So let's read about it. So first warm up children. The time is early 20th century. It is about 20th century and a remote village in Bengal. There is a remote village in Bengal. So we'll learn, we'll read about it. Durga and Opu, the brother-sister duo. Brother-sister duo means brother and sister Durga and Opu were there. Grow up roaming about the countryside, climbing trees, looking for wild fruits and flowers, watching birds and rabbits, splashing in ponds and rivers. Aap ye kya karte hue, bade hue? They just wild fruits and flowers ikattha karte the aur birds ko dekhte the, beautiful birds and rabbits splashing in the ponds and rivers. Read the following extract from Patre Panchali where Durga and Opu find a diamond. Aur ye jo brother-sister ka duo tha, inho ne ye kis me se liya gaya hai extract? There's a book, Patir Panchali, from which this extract has been taken, which tells us about Durga and Opu who found a diamond. So let's start it. It was another day and this is what happened. At the extreme northern end of the village, there was a path which ran through some very old mango and jackfruit orchards. So, extreme north end of the village tha aur maha ek path tha jaha pe, jaha pe ki ye dono bache, they were running and very old mango trees or jackfruit ke trees the. There were bamboos too and the undergrowth was very dense. Bamboo forest, jase hote bamboo forest, they are very dense. If you went along that path far from the houses to where the jungle ended, you would come to a tank near the open fields. In the olden days, the Mojundars used to live there and they had dug a moat round their house. In olden days, mein wahan pe ek Mojundar family rehti ki. Most of the moat was filled in now. But in one place, there was a hole which was full of water all the year round. अब एक जगह पे वहाँ पे एक होल रह गया था जो कि फिल नहीं हुआ था और उसमें पूरा ईयर क्या भरा रहता था पानी भरा रहता था। That was what they called the moat lake. Of the मुजुमदार's house, however, no trace remained. और मुजुमदार्स के हाउस का कोई ट्रेस अब नहीं था। There were no trace of मुजुमदार्स हाउस। When the children got to the lake. They saw a lot of water chestnuts, but none of them were near the shore. So they were mostly near, very far. Now, abhi jo bache jab ye wahan aaye, to unhone dekha lake ke pas aake ki bahut saare water chestnuts hain wahan pe. Lekin koi bhi shore ke pas nahi tha. Bahut dur dur the sab. So what they did? Durga said. Opu, we shall need a pole to get the fruit with. Ab unko water chestnut lene the, to Durga ne Opu se kya bola ki hume ek pole chahiye hoga, wo fruit lene ke liye. Go and see if you can find a piece of bamboo. While she was waiting for him, she pulled some ripe berries off a bush. By the water's edge and began to eat them. अब दुर्गा जब वेट कर रही थी ओपु का उसने ओपु को बैंबू लेन लाने के लिए भेजा था तो उसने क्या किया कुछ राइप बेरीज पकी हुई बेरीज वहाँ बुशेस से उसने तोड़ी and she started eating them. ओपु saw her from where he was among the bamboos and called out at once, "Don't eat those berries!" अब ओपु ने जहाँ वो बैंबूज लेने गया था वहाँ से उसने देखा कि दुर्गा वो बेरीज तोड़ के खा रही है तो वहाँ से वो चिल्लाया कि ये बेरीज नहीं खाना। Don't eat those berries, Didi. So she was her, his sister. So he said, Didi उन बेरीज को नहीं खाना। 
leave them alone. They are not good to eat. They are shura berries and only fit for birds to eat. और वो शेरा बेरीज हैं जो कि हम लोगों के खाने के लिए नहीं है केवल बर्ड्स खाते हैं दुर्गा स्क्वीज द सीड आउट ऑफ द राइट बेरी एंड सेड हु सेज दे आर नॉट गुड टू ईट आई हैव ईटन लॉट्स ऑफ देम अब दुर्गा बोलती है कि किसने कहा कि ये बेरीज खाने के लिए नहीं है अच्छी नहीं है मैंने तो बहुत सारी खाई है कम एंड सी फॉर योर्स दे आर एज स्वीट एज शुगर ये उतनी मीठी है जितने की जैसा कि शुगर होता है चीनी की तरह मीठी ओपू हैड कलेक्टेड अ नंबर ऑफ बैम्बू केन्स बाय दैट टाइम बट ही पुट देम डाउन एंड वेंट टू वेयर हर सिस्टर वाज स्टैंडिंग डोंट से डोंट दे से यू गो मैड इफ यू ईट देम दीदी जस्ट वन देम टू सी हाउ दे टेस्ट नाउ ओपू व्हाट ओपू सेड कि डोंट दे से यू गो मैड इफ यू ईट देम ठीक है मैं टेस्ट करने के लिए जस्ट एक बेरी खाऊंगा ही पुट वन इन टू हिज माउथ बट द मोमेंट ही गॉट हिज टीथ इन टू इट ही रेंटल्ड अप हिज फेस इट्स अ बिट बिटर इज इट इट दीदी नाउ जब उसने ओपू ने मुंह में डाला वो बेरी और जैसे ही उसने चबाया उसको तो उसने एक फेस अजीब सा गंदा सा फेस बनाया उसने बोला ये कुछ कड़वी नहीं है दीदी वॉट डिड यू एक्सपेक्ट ऑफकोर्स अ बिट बेटर बट इट्स वेरी स्वीट टू डोंट यू थिंक दुर्गा ने बोला तो तुम क्या एक्सपेक्ट कर रहे थे ठीक है थोड़ी सी कड़वी है ये बट मीठी भी है एंड शी स्टफ सम मोर राइट बेरीज इन टू हर माउथ एंड एट देम विद ऑब्वियस relish because she was enjoying those berries durga ko berries bahut achhi lag rahi thi usne thodi si aur berries li aur apne muh mein dal li and she was enjoying relishing that durga went down a little way into the water there are a lot of water chestnuts here opu she shouted ab durga pani mein chali gayi thode se aur usne ओपो को क्या बोला कि यहाँ बहुत सारे वाटर चेस्टनट्स हैं यू स्टैंड देयर एंड आई गेट सम शी वेंट इन टू अ लिटिल फर्दर एंड प्लग आउट सेवरल प्लांट्स बाय द स्टेम एंड थ्रू देम ऑन द बैंक कैच ओपो उसने और थोड़ा सा पानी के अंदर गई और फिर उसने क्या किया स्टेम से उन प्लांट्स को तोड़ा वाटर चेस्टनट्स के और उसने शोर पे बैंक पे फेंक दिया और ओपो को क्या बोला कैच करो The water chestnuts are right out over the water, Didi. How are you going to get at them? The water chestnuts were indeed far out over the water. The water chestnuts they were bohot under the pani. Durga did her best to reach them with a bamboo cane, but in vain. Durga ne wahan tak pahunchne ki koshish ki, lekin nahi pahunch paayi. The banks very steep here, she said. I shall slip down into deep water if I go further out. Durga ne kaha ki agar ab main aur aage gayi yahan se bahut steep hai ye aur main gir jaungi I'll slip down. What can I do to reach it? Ab wahan pahunchne ke liye main kya kar sakti hu? Oh yes, I know. You can help. Hold on to the end of my sari and I'll I may be able to reach them with the pole. उसने ओपू से बोला कि मेरी सारी का एक एंड पकड़ो और इस पोल्स की हेल्प से मैं शायद वहां तक पहुंच जाऊं इन साइड द जंगल येलो बर्ड वॉज सिटिंग ऑन अग इन मोयना कांता ट्री मोयना कांता ट्री देर वॉज अ मोयना कांता ट्री वेर ऑन विच एक येलो बर्ड बैठी थी इट वॉज सिंगिंग वेरी स्वीटली एंड मेकिंग द लीव डांस ओपू वॉज फैसिनेटेड What bird is that, Didi? Now, Opu ne jab wo maina kanta tree pe wo yellow bird ko dekha, jo ki ga rahi thi bahut sweetly, to Opu ne apne sister se pucha Durga se, kaun si bird hai? Don't worry about birds. Hold on to my sari for all your worth, or I shall slip in. Ab Durga ne kya bola Opu ko ki tum bird ki chinta mat karo abhi, meri sari thik se pakro, because agar tum thik se nahi pakroge to I will slip. Hold on tight now. Bilkul tightly pakro. 
स्टेप बाय स्टेप दुर्गा वेंट डाउन इनटू द वाटर और धीरे धीरे दुर्गा पानी में उतरती है स्ट्रेचिंग आउट विद द केन एज फार एज शी वुड गो हर क्लोथ्स वर वेट थ्रू बट स्टिल शी कुड नॉट रीच उसके कपड़े भीग गए थे वो धीरे धीरे और आगे तक जा रही थी लेकिन वहां तक नहीं पहुंच पाई फिर भी शी वेंट अ लिटिल बिट फर्दर एंड ट्राइड अगेन दिस टाइम होल्डिंग द केन विद द टिप्स ऑफ हर फिंगर फिंगर टिप्स से केन पकड़ के उसने फिर से ट्राई किया ओपो स्टूड बिहाइंड हर पुलिंग एज हार्ड एज ही कुड बट सडनली ही रियलाइज दैट ही वॉज नॉट स्ट्रॉन्ग इनफ टू होल्ड हर एंड बर्स्ट आउट लाफिंग अब ओपो पीछे से पकड़ा हुआ था टाइटली लेकिन धीरे धीरे अब अचानक से उसको क्या रियलाइज हुआ ओपो को कि वो इतना स्ट्रॉन्ग नहीं है कि वो दुर्गा को पकड़ के रख सके और वो हंसना शुरू कर दिया उसने ही लव सो मच दैट ही लेट गो ऑफ हर एंड दुर्गा बिगैन टू स्लाइड इन और इतना हंसा ओपो कि उसके हाथ से वो दुर्गा की सारी छूट गई और दुर्गा धीरे दुर्गा धीरे धीरे पानी के अंदर जाने बट शी मैनेज टू सेव हर सेल्फ इन टाइम लेकिन उसने अपने आप को बचा लिया टाइम में देन शी लव टू और वो भी हंसने लगी नाउ सी दिस इज द वे ओपो इज होल्डिंग द सारी एंड दुर्गा इज स्टेप बाय स्टेप गोइंग इनसाइड द वाटर विद द हेल्प ऑफ द बैंबू के व्हाट अ वॉश आउट यू आर शी एक्सक्लेम यू आर अटली यूजलेस बट कम ऑन लेट्स हैव अनदर गो होल्ड ऑन अगेन दुर्गा ने ओपू से बोला तुम बिल्कुल यूजलेस हो किसी काम के नहीं हो चलो फिर से हम एक बार ट्राई करते हैं विद एन इफेक्ट ऑफ हर्ट शी सक्सीडेड इन हुकिंग अ क्लस्टर ऑफ चेस्टनट्स एंड पुलिंग इट नियर और इस बार बहुत ज्यादा एफर्ट जब किया उन्होंने तो दुर्गा सक्सीडेड चेस्टनट वाटर चेस्टनट्स के थोड़ा सा क्लस्टर ऑफ वाटर चेस्टनट्स उसको मिल गया शी एग्जाम इट ईगरली टू सी हाउ मेनी चेस्टनट्स दे वर ऑन इट बट इन अ मिनट और सो शी फ्लॉग इट ऑन द बैंक दे आर क्वाइट रॉ बट वो वाटर चेस्टनट्स जो थे वो कच्चे थे दे हैव गॉट एनी मिल्क इन देम गेट लेट्स ट्राई वन स्मोल होल्ड ऑन नाउ एक बार और दुर्गा ने ट्राई करने की कोशिश की ओपो होल्ड हेल्ड ऑन अगेन ओपो ने फिर से पकड़ी उसके साथ बट ही कुड नॉट काउंटर हर सिस्टर्स फुल एज शी लीन फॉरवर्ड एंड लिटिल बाय लिटिल ही फाउंड हिमसेल्फ स्लिपिंग इन टू द वॉटर लेकिन जैसे जैसे दुर्गा अंदर जा रही थी उसका जो पुल था सिस्टर उसकी सिस्टर का जो पुल था सारी का क्योंकि जब वो आगे जा रही थी लीन फॉरवर्ड तो वो नहीं संभाल पाया और ओपो भी फिसलने लगा पानी में His clothes began to get wet, so he gave up and stood there shaking with laughter. Or, usse nahi hua, wo khada ho gaya aur hansne laga. Fir se, Durga laughed too. Silly, she said. And for some time, the lonely bamboo grove by the side of the pond echoed with the happy laughter of the brother and sister. Or, wo dono hansne lage. because they were not able neither opu was able to hold durga and neither durga was able to uh, reach the chestnut and carry uh, and bring them nearer if only you had a little strength in your body durga said with a laugh but you haven't you are no stronger than a dry stick na durga said durga ne opu se bola ki thoda sa bhi agar tumhare andar strength hota lekin tum to ek bilkul dry stick ki tarah ho Thereupon she went down into the water to have another try but Opu who was still standing on the bank suddenly screamed out and pointed with his finger in the direction of a bush nearby Ab jaise hi Durga andar jaane lagi to Opu tab bhi bank pe khada hua tha aur achanak se wo chillaya aur usne point kis taraf kiya jo bush tha wahan pe jhariyon ki taraf point out kiya Look didi what's back there and he rushed to the place and started to dig something out of the ground usne bola dekho didi wahan pe kya hai aur wo bhag ke gaya aur ground mein se kuch khodne laga durga climbed out of the water but before she got to him 
He had unearthed something and was rubbing it clean on his clothes. अब जब तक दुर्गा वहाँ पहुँचती तब तक ओपू ने ग्राउंड को डेक कर दिया था और उसके अंदर से कुछ निकाला था और उसको साफ कर रहा था अपने कपड़ों से He was very excited. Look at this, दीदी He said and held it out for her to see. See how it shines. What is it? अब वो क्या था जो ओपू ने निकाला दुर्गा took it in her hand. It was roundish, had sharply cut fists, and it sparkled. She turned it this way and examined it intently for a while. अब वो ठीक से उसको देखने लगी. When an idea suddenly flashed into her mind and her face shone bright, though the dirty hair that flopped over it. Now she was examining that thing. She looked round nervously to see if anybody was watching, and then she whispered, "Oh, I think it's a diamond." अब उसने इधर उधर देखा दुर्गा ने कि कोई देख तो नहीं रहा है और धीरे से ओपु के कानों में क्या बोली कि ओपु ये तो एक डायमंड है डोंट शाउट उसने बोला शोर नहीं मचाना एंड वंस मोर शी लुक्ड अराउंड नर्वसली और इधर उधर देखने लगी वो नर्वसली ओपु डिड नॉट से अ वर्ड ही जस्ट स्टूड एंड स्टेड एट हर ही न्यू दैट वॉट द वर्ड मेन दो और ओपु बिना कुछ बोले चुपचाप वहां खड़ा रहा लुक दे फाउंड द डायमंड हिज मदर एंड हिज सिस्टर टू हैड टोल्ड हिम लॉट्स ऑफ फेरी स्टोरीज अबाउट प्रिंसेस एंड प्रिंस एंड प्रिंसेस एंड दे वर ऑलवेज ड्रेस्ड इन डायमंड्स एंड पर्ल्स ही हैड हाउवर अ समवट रॉन्ग नोशन ऑफ व्हाट डायमंड लुक्ड लाइक उसने अपनी मदर अपने सिस्टर से प्रिंस प्रिंसेस की स्टोरी सुनी थी जो कि हमेशा क्या पहने होते थे ड्रेस्ड इन डायमंड्स होते थे ही थॉट इट वाज येलोइश समवट लाइक फिशेस रोज बट हार्ड नॉट सॉफ्ट उसके दिमाग में एक गलत छवि थी डायमंड की वो सोचता था कि डायमंड येलोइश होता है शर्बजया वाज नॉट इन द हाउस बट व्हेन शी गॉट बैक फ्रॉम द विलेज she saw the two of them standing inside near the door durga crept up to her mother she whispered we have found something ab sharvajaya kon hai durga and opu ki mother wo ghar pe nahi thi us time pe lekin jab wo wapas aayi unhone dekha durga aur opu dono ghar mein hain durga apni mother ke paas ja ke kya bola durga ne ki mother hame kuch mila hai we were near the mot Lake picking water chestnuts, and it was buried in the jungle. Opu said, "I saw it first, mother, and told Didi about it." Opu ne bola, "Mujhe sabse pehle dikhai diya aur maine fir Didi ko bataya." Durga untied the knot in her sari and put the stone in her mother's hand. Look at it, mother. What is it? Ab Durga ne apni mother ke hath mein wo diamond diya aur mother se pucha, "Mother, ye kya hai?" Charvaja turned it. this way and that and durga whispered to her it's a real diamond mother isn't it durga ne dheere se apni mother ko bola mother ye ek real diamond hai na sharbaja knew no more about diamonds than they did so she said jabhi uski what makes you think it's a diamond शर्बजय को बहुत ज्यादा नहीं पता था डायमंड्स के बारे में तो उसने ओपो और दुर्गा से पूछा कि तुम क्यों सोचते हो कि ये डायमंड है द मजुमदास वर रिच पीपल वर्न दे मदर एंड पीपल यूज टू पिक अप गोल्ड कॉइंस इन द जंगल नियर देयर हाउस जो पहले रहते थे जिनके बारे में हमने शुरू में पढ़ा कि मजुमदास का हाउस था वो तो वो बहुत रिच पीपल थे आंट यूज टू टेल मी अबाउट देम वी फाउंड दिस बारेड इन द जंगल क्लोज टू द लेक The sun was shining on it and it sparkled. It must be a real diamond, mother. Sharbujaya said, "Wait till your father comes home and we'll show it to him." Now, Opu and uh, Durga's mother said that, "Tab tak wait karte hain jab tak ki tumhare father ghar nahi aa jate hain. We can't say about that this is a real diamond." It was a very excited and happy Durga that went. out into the yard 
and she said to Opu, If it's a real diamond, Opu, we shall be rich. Opu ko jaake usne kaha Durga ne ki agar ye real diamond hua, to hum to bhot ameer ho jayenge. You wait and see. Opu did not know what she meant by rich, but he laughed all the same, a wild, excited laugh. When the children left her, Sharbujaya took the thing out and had another look at it. It was roundish with one face pointed. It really did sparkle. She thought she could see all kinds of color in it. Or jab bachche chale gaye to Sharbujaya ne fir se wo nikala aur nikal ke dekhne lagi examine karne lagi. So it certainly was not a class kyunki usko uske andar bahut sare colors dikhai de rahe the. To ye glass to tha nahi. At least she did not remember ever having seen glass like that. A wave of excitement ran through her and deep within her a hope, an impossible hope came to life, brushing all her doubts and hesitations away into the back of her mind. If it is really a diamond. Now she also thought that if diamond is really To her, diamonds belonged only to fairyland. She knew that diamonds are not fairyland. They hardly ever came into real life. The wealth of the whole world could be cha- exchanged for one little diamond. A little later, Horihar came in carrying his bundle in his hand. And who is Horihar? Horihar is Opu and Durga's father. Come here, she said. Look at this. What is it? Horihar took it in his hand. Where did you get it? Ab. Sharbajaya ne Horihar ko wo diamond diya. Aur pucha, Harir ne pucha, ye kahan se mila? Durga went to pick some water chestnuts at the moat lake. She dug it out of the ground there. What is it? Harir turned it round a time or two and then said, It's a piece of glass or maybe a stone. It's so small, I can't be sure. Harir ko bhi nahi samaj mein aya. Usne ek do baad dekha turn karke. Usne kaha, हो सकता है ये ग्लास का एक पीस हो या एक स्टोन का पीस हो आई एम नॉट श्योर बिकॉज़ ये बहुत छोटा है अ थिन रे ऑफ होप शोन इन चरबजाज माइंड इफ इट वर ग्लास शी आस्क्ड हरसेल्फ वुडंट हर हस्बैंड बी एबल टू रिकॉग्नाइज इट सो शी विस्पर्ड टू हिम नर्वसली होपिंग दैट ही वुड नॉट कॉन्ट्रडिक्ट हर येट फियरफुल दैट ही माइट कुड इट बी अ डायमंड दुर्गा सेज that lots of people have picked up all sorts of thing in the moat near the Mojumdar's house. It might be a diamond, might be not. Now these were the questions there in Sharbajaya's mind. Yes, it might be. But if diamonds could be picked up by the roadside, there'd be no need for anybody to worry about anything. Now, Harihar said, ki, Haan, ho sakta hai diamond ho, lekin agar aise hi diamond roadside se uthaye jate, to to fir kisi ko kis, kuch chinta karne ki zarurat hi nahi thi. What a woman you are. He was convinced at first that it was only glass, but as he reflected further, a doubt assailed him. It's just possible, who can be sure? The Mojumdars were rich. Is it entirely possible that a stone from one of their many ornaments may be some chance have got buried in the crown? As a ho sakta hai ki, wo jo majumdas rehte the, unke kisi dam usme se jo ornaments the, wahan se koi stone gir gaya ho aur wahan zameen mein bari ho gaya. They say that an unlucky man is one who does not recognize hidden. Treasure, even when he has got it in his hand. Then he said aloud, All right, I'll go and show it to the Gangulis. Harihar ne kya kaha? Thik hai, mein jaake in isko Gangulis ko dikhata hu. Sharbajaya prayed to herself as she went on with the cooking, saying again and again, Please God. Lots of other people picked up things and times are so hard for us. Have mercy on the children, please God. And her heart beat more quickly as she prayed. 
अब शर्मा जी आप प्रे करने लगी कि ये डायमंड ही हो बिकॉज कितने लोग क्या क्या चीज़ें पिकअप करते हैं और हमारे बहुत हार्ड टाइम चल रहा है हमारे बच्चों पे प्लीज हैव मर्सी ऑन माय चिल्ड्रन दुर्गा केम इन एंड आस एक्साइटमेंट हैज फादर कम होम येट हर एंटर्ड एट दैट वेरी मोमेंट इट्स जस्ट एज आई थॉट ही सेट इट इज एनीथिंग शत बाबू द गांगुली सन इन लॉ इज बैक फ्रॉम कैलकाटा he had a look at it he says it's a kind of crystal glass hari hari ne kya bola ye ek crystal glass hai the sort they used in chandeliers if you could pick up diamonds and such things by the roadside what a woman you are for wild ideas again hari hari said that this is just a crystal glass the gangulis son in law has told me he has just come back from kolkata and ye sab ye kaha use karte the chandeliers mein use kiya jata tha agar aise hi road side se diamonds milne lagte to kya ho fir to koi chinta wali baat hi nahi thi and he said to sharvajaya that what kind of woman you are what wild ideas you have what all you were thinking and this is विभूति भूषण बंदोपाध्याय इट इज रिटन बाय विभूति भूषण बंदोपाध्याय फाइन चिल्ड्रन इट इज एन एक्सट्रैक्ट फ्रॉम पॉथेड पांच नाउ दे इज वर्ड मीनिंग हियर अंडर ग्रो अ मास ऑफ वीड्स एंड बुशेज ग्रोइंग अंडर द ट्रीज इन अ वुड और फॉरेस्ट ट्री के साइड पे जो घास उगती है जो वीड्स उग जाती हैं उन्हें कहते हैं अंडर ग्रो moat a deep wild ditch surrounding a castle fort or town typically filled with water and intended as a defense against attack what a chestnut a kind of fruit that grows in the ponds then shira berries a type of wild berry relish great enjoyment moina kanta tree much branched branched shrub uske bahut sare branches hote hain or sometimes a small tree 2 to 3 meter tall with thorns found in bengal for all your work as hard as you can these are the meanings of some difficult words children wash out a failure counter act against fishes roars eggs of fishes now let's do some comprehension here darken the correct option in omr sheet so you have i'll take the option here and you'll fill in the omr sheet here okay children opu stopped durga from eating the berries this shows he is cautious the one in charge responsible kind this shows that he is cautious okay now the next one is which of the following adjectives best describes durga careful thoughtless irresponsible reckless the best adjective for durga is reckless and once more she looked around nervously durga is nervous because she knows the bamboo grove is home to wild animals thinks opus shouting will attract the attention of thieves hopes that they may have found a diamond that will make them rich fears that someone may see the stone and take it away from them so d is the correct option sharvajaya knew no more about diamonds than they did so she said to bilsky What makes you think it's a diamond? The word dubiously means excitedly, angrily, doubtfully, happily. It's doubtfully. Fine, children. Now let's move further. Fill in the blanks. Here are some words given in the box. So let's read them first. Chestnuts, bamboo, rich, little. Opu collected a number of dash canes which canes bamboo canes so write down bamboo canes 
Durga went down a dash way into the water. Durga went down a little way into the water. The water dash were indeed far out over the water. The water chestnuts. She had gone to take those chestnuts only. The water chestnuts were indeed far. The Majumdas were dash people. The Majumdas were rich people. Okay, children. Now we come to the next one. Say if the given statements are true, T or false, F. Opu finds a shiny object near the pond. Yes, this is true. Durga and Opu went to the moth lake to get some water chest chestnuts. Yes, this is also true. Durga thought the object they found was a glass. No, she didn't think this. False. Shattu Babu, the son-in-law of Kangulis, dismissed it as crystal glass. Yes, true. Fine. Now, let's move further. Answer the following questions. Okay, now we have to give some answers to these questions. Where did Harihar take the shiny object? Harihar took the shiny object to the Gangulis to show them what it is. To ask them what it is. What did the children see when they reached the lake? When the children reached the lake, they found many water chestnuts there. While waiting for her brother, what did Durga do? When Durga was waiting for her brother, she plucked some ripened berries from the bushes and started eating them. What did the two children find near Mot Lake? When the two children reached the Mot Lake, uh, there they saw uh, they found a shiny, rounded, uh, a cut, one edge was sharp and it was a very shiny thing which was sparkling which they found near the moat lake. Now children, let's start with the vocabulary. Homophones. What are homophones? Let's read these pair of words. Listen, listen. Now look here carefully children. When I am speaking these two words, they are sounding the same. Same sound are hai tolu words ka. But here the spellings are different. It's L-E-S-S-E-N, lesson. L-E-S-S-O-N, lesson. Fine. S-A-I-L, sale. S-A-L-E, sale. P-R-I-N-C-I-P-A-L, principle. P-R-I-N-C-I-P-L-E, principle. Here, words such as these may cause confusion as they sound the same, though they are spelt differently and have different meanings. Now, these words are very confusing words. Its pronunciation is the same. Hota hai. Lesson, lesson. But its spelling, different hai spellings and the meanings are also different. Fill in the blanks with the above words to bring out their meanings. Now, these words are given. We have to fill in the correct word. Usse fill karna hai. The new dash has made a real difference to our school with his new ideas. The new lesson has made a real difference to our school with his new ideas. No. Lesson, no. The new principal, jo nai principal hai school ke, unhone apne nai ideas se ek bhaat bada, ek real difference lai hai school me. So, which principal? P-R-I-N-C-I-P-A-L. P-R-I-N-C-I-P-A-L. Principal. Who is the head of the school. Mahatma Gandhi stood firm on his dash of non-violence on his lesson on his principle of non-violence now this principle has to be used on his principle c i p l e principle of non-violence the teacher explained the dash with examples teacher kya explain kati lesson this lesson 
L E S O N. Wearing a helmet will lessen the risk of a head injury. Lessen means kam kar dena. L E S E N. L E S E N. The dash at the Granlays offered good discount. The sale at the Granlays. S A L E. Sale. The shipwrecked sailors used a raft to dash to the island. Sail. Now this sail. S A I L. Sail. Finally, so these are the homophones. Now we start with the grammar. Adjectives of number. What are these? You have already learnt about different types of adjectives in the earlier class. Previous class may apne adjectives ke bare mein padha hai. Now let us learn more about adjectives of number. Kya hota hai ye adjectives of number? There are four types of adjectives of number. Cardinal or definite numeral adjectives show the exact number of a noun. Exact number show karta hai. Usse kehte hai cardinal or definite numeral adjective. Example 1, 10, a definite number. Ordinals show the rank, order or position in which a noun appears. Example 1st, 10th, these are ordinal numbers. Okay. Indefinite or numeral adjectives do not show the exact number of noun. Jo indefinite adjectives, hote, indefinite numeral adjectives, wo ek koi definite number, exact number nahi batate. Uske examples can some, many. And distributive numeral adjectives refer to each noun within a group separately. Like each, then neither. These are the distributive numeral adjectives. Now strike out the incorrect adjectives. Here two adjectives are given in the bracket. Jo incorrect hai, usko hume cut kar dene. Strike out kar dene. Every, all, the people in this town are literate. All the people in this town are literate. So we have to strike out every, every ko kaat dene. Okay. Each or many soldier was wearing a shiny golden armor. Each soldier, each soldier. So many ko strike out. There are still some or either villages with no electricity. There are still some villages with no electricity. So strike off either. Dr. Kalam became the 11th or 11th Indian president. We have to use ordinal adjective here. So we'll use 11th and we'll strike off 11th. He knows 5th or 5 languages. He knows 5 languages. So strike out Fifth. Now degrees of comparison. Use the three degrees of each adjective given in the brackets to complete the group of sentences. Now we have to use three degrees of each adjective. That's the dash joke I've heard today. The adjective is funny. That's the funniest joke I've heard today. No other joke I have heard today is as funny as that one. That joke is funnier than all the jokes I have heard today. Now see, that's the funniest joke. F-U-N-N-I-E-S-T. Funniest. Superlative degree. No other joke I have heard today is as funny as that one. It's the comparative degree here. That joke is dash than all the jokes I have heard today. That joke is funnier. Funny, funnier, funniest. Okay? So, three degrees have been used. This project is dash than all the others I have seen so far. This project is best. Then, better than all the other others I have seen so far. This project is better. This project is the dash one uh, that I have seen so far. This project is the best one. 
No other project I have seen so far is as good as this one. So the three degrees are good, better, best. Fine. It has been the dash game I have ever played. It has been the most difficult game I have ever played. So most difficult. Fine. Now next is. This game has been dash than any I have ever played. This game has been more difficult, more, more difficult and no other game I have ever played has been as difficult as this one, as difficult as this one. Difficult, more difficult, most difficult. All three degrees used. Now, order of adjectives. Read these sentences. That small new red car is mine. Small new red car is mine. He does not like his old brown leather shoes anymore. In each of these sentences, more than one adjective has been used to describe the nouns car and shoes. Ek se zada adjective ka use hua hai car ya shoes ko describe karne ke. In such cases, the adjectives are placed in a particular order, which is as follows. Opinion. Opinion is such as funny, beautiful, ugly, smart. Then size. Such as big, huge, tiny, large. Age. Such as ancient, vintage, new, fresh. The shape agar hai to round, flat, square, circle. Color. Such as red, black, gray, white. Then origin. Such as India, English, earthly, solar. Material. Such as wool, plastic, wood, metal. Purpose. Such as carving. Knife, rowing, boat, cooking, vessel and serving, spoon. So this is the order of adjectives. Now take the correct order of adjectives to complete the sentence. Where can I buy some dash strawberries? Tasty, big, red or red, tasty, big. First red tasty big this is the correct order of adjective where can i buy some red tasty big strawberries she bought a set of six dash coffee mugs brown ceramic large large brown ceramic she bought a set of large brown ceramic coffee mugs okay I love this dash silk cloth, soft yellow Chinese or yellow Chinese soft silk cloth. It is soft yellow Chinese silk cloth. Soft yellow Chinese silk cloth. Avi is a dash girl, thin, young, beautiful, a beautiful, thin, young. She's a thin, young, beautiful girl. I like that bunch of dash grapes. Fresh, delicious, green. Delicious, fresh, green. I like that bunch of fresh, delicious, green grapes. Okay? What's next? Speaking skills. Make a group of six and discuss about Durga and Opu. Abhi humne Durga aur Opu ke baare mein padha. To aap apne class mein isko discuss kijiye. How, what you uh, learned, what you read about Durga, how you felt about Durga and how Opu was. In ke characters ke baare mein, characteristics ke baare mein, discuss ki jay apne classmates. Writing skill. Write a paragraph on the life of Durga and Opu. So, how they earn their living, how were they, what they used to do, how brave they were, how brave Durga was and about Opu too, how careful he was about Durga. So, you have to write a paragraph here. Now, the values. Just before recess, the teacher vanished into the desk and the children ran outside to play. Suppose this or any such incident 
had happened in your classroom, what would you have done? अब मान लीजिए आपकी क्लास में जस्ट ड्रेसेस होने से पहले टीचर चले जाते हैं क्लास से और बच्चे क्लास से बाहर भाग जाते हैं तो इस सिचुएशन में वॉट यू विल डू आप कैसे आपकी क्लास को कंट्रोल करेंगे वॉट यू विल डू इन द क्लास टू मैनेज द क्लास सो चिल्ड्रन हेयर वी एंड अप विद द चैप्टर एंजॉय द लॉट येस वील मीट सोन विद अ न्यू चैप्टर एंड टिल देन स्टे ट्यून फॉर द न्यू वीडियो स्टे ब्लेस स्टे हैप्पी बाई